Welcome back to Lucky Dan Games. This, of course, is Lucky Dan. I'm playing some Ark Survival Evolved. New patches dropped yesterday that introduced the beaver. And it's supposed to have some really cool stuff that I can do that we're going to check out when we find one. And they're supposed to be along waterways, making dams, and doing other beavery beaver stuff. And... I did see one a little bit ago, but it was promptly eaten before I could turn my mic and stuff on. There's a Spino down there. What is he attacking? Let's see what he's... Oh, he must be killing fish. Okay. No biggie. Now, the reason I'm on raw, not only is because I can scout with raw, because the beaver is also able to be picked up by an Argentavis, or as I like to call them, an Argy. Uh, let's see, there's a Rex over there being punk. Not much out of the ordinary. Now, something you also may have noted is the graphics might seem a little bit better than they have in the past. Because I recently upgraded to an NVIDIA 970 TI, or not TI, just a nine, NVIDIA 970, which is definitely a tick up in graphics in general for me. I was on a 750 TI previously. See, I'm seeing a lot of other stuff, but not the beaver. He is new, mind us. He is new, but it'd be nice if he'd make himself apparent so we could just be done with this. And on our way. Well, we haven't been able to find what I was looking for, but this will do. We haven't caught one of these before. It's a wild level 72 tear bird. We will take this back to base and do what we will with it. And these are, this is from a couple patches ago. They're pretty new. I don't know if many people... I haven't seen many people have one of these yet. I don't think anyone on our server has one yet. But it's coming home with us in either case. She's a pretty bird in all of her beauty. Here's what we were originally looking for, which is a beaver. That's the new guy. Hi, Tearbird. We're going to try and catch this beaver. And just like that, we have a beaver. The wild female. It looks like the beaver. Look at those webbed toes. Big old feet. Where am I going? Got myself all turned around. This is a lucky find. I have spent the whole night looking for a beaver. Well, let's get it back to base. Now, some things to know about the beaver while I guess why we have it here. Um, it will build dams in the wild, and it will contain large amounts of, like, wood, cement paste, rare flowers, mushrooms, and silica pearls. Uh, but it will become aggressive if you access its dam out in the wild. It 
is tameable, is rideable. It likes Galaminimus eggs for its kibble. Um, it only came out on the 24th, so it's been out for literally a day. And this is us catching our first one. Now, the neat things about an egg is it gets pelt, um, which means it is an easy way to get hide, or not so much hide, pelt for getting like cold weather gear without actually having to go into the cold weather. Um, some other really cool things about it is it's got a huge amount of utilities for the builder slash gatherer. Um, it gathers wood very efficiently and will gather wood autonomously while on wander, which means you can have an automatic wood gatherer for once, which is why I'm bringing this guy home. And there he is. Um, let's look up some, let's take this slow. I don't know how many shots this guy will take. There's one. Give it a count of ten. Another shot in the butt. Give it another ten. not out. Two more times, we'll give it 20 seconds now. So, some other things to note about it is it can act as a smithy, a mobile smithy, and anything you put on it, like as far as wood or thatch or fiber, it only counts for 20% of whatever the weight is on him, full weight for you or any other dino. Let's go to sleep, buddy. Oh, there he goes. All right. Well, they're supposed to take berries, and I've got plenty of berries for them. I'm not sure how fast they tame. They're supposed to be friendly tame, so that usually means they go pretty quick. He's got a, not sure what other colorations they come in. We'll wait it out now. Here's its first little bit of teaming. Looks like he's definitely gonna need some narco paste at this rate. Still not taming very quick, so this definitely must have a very slow timer indeed. It says it should take 24 minutes. Its total time to tame is 24. Let's see, torpor is only Five minutes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should give us max. Well, it feels like another time for another round of narcos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Find my calculator here. 
14 now. This is actually a very slow tame, I will get to say that. But I guess that makes sense for as useful as these things are supposed to be. And they're supposed to be really combat useful. They have a base 45 damage, which is higher than a dire wolf, and a Carnos for some reason. So it makes it a very good combat mount. Not to mention or portable smithy and pick up pick up a wolf with a RG. I mean this thing is like a win for people. Now, something that does suck about it, it, it can be an aquatic mount, but it will float straight to the top of whatever water area you are if you get off. So if you swim like to the bottom of the ocean and get off of it, he's going to pop up to the top like a cork from what I understand. That's not what you want. In fact, that would suck for you because you may not be fast enough to get back up to the surface for air if that's what you're hoping for. Another refill time. It's 11 more. That should top them off again. We're almost done. Oh, there we go. You have tamed a Casto... Castoroides. Castoroides is a large mammalian herbivore that tends to live near water. Unlike other larger beaver species, this one retains the chisel-shaped teeth of modern beavers. As is typical for beavers, they build dams as habitats, but the larger creatures on the island have a tendency to trample them. As a result, finding unsullied dams in the wild is quite rare. Seeing as I didn't see any, that probably explains it. Um... Asteroides itself doesn't seem to be seem to realize how dangerous the island is. I don't know if it's simply too dumb to notice the dangers or if it just doesn't care. But Casteroides happily comes goes about its day playing in the water and gnawing on wood. The domesticated one, the value of a tame Casteroides is obvious in its physiology. The creature naturally gathers wood extremely efficiently, far more than most species on the island. It's not the strongest creature, so it only can carry limited amounts but it is a natural lumberjack. Uh, it's from the late Pliocene to late Pleistocene. It's an herbivore. It's friendly. And in, in a uh, strike back to the older days of the Angry Beaver show on Nickelodeon, Norbert's girlfriend was tree flower, so that's what we're going to call our beaver. And I'm going to go get raw. And we're going to deposit her and put her on wild. Alright, raw, what are you doing? beaver there we are okay these things are supposed to just naturally just go about gathering up wood so we're gonna take it to the north side where the most trees are like right here because i want to kind of see it in action see what it does all right there it is and all of its beavery goodness very pretty girl tree flower is Okay. Let's turn it off follow. And let's cycle aggression to neutral. That's what we want it to be on. Let's turn it up on I don't really want it getting into a conflict. So we're gonna turn it on lowest range for it'll offend itself but not really much else. And then we'll enable wandering. Let's see what it does.
Oh, there it goes. You gonna gnaw on something? What are you doing, girl? You gonna chew up some wood? Range needs turned up. Oh wait, there it went. Oh, there goes a tree. Let's see how much wood did it get? It got twenty. It got 128 wood from that little bit there. Okay. Hit knocks him down in one shot. Does it dig down fast or just wood? Now it's got 128 wood on there, but it still has a lot of weight to go. So this guy, this girl will fill up wick with a lot of wood. So with that, that is it for this episode. We found the new beaver. We need a tree flower for two angry birds. Um, next time, I think I'll try and go catch some of the other animals we haven't caught yet, like hair bird, etc. Um, you've been watching Lucky Dan Games. If you like, I prefer comments above all else, but uh, you can also hit the like button and subscribe if you prefer. Um, otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your night, and thanks for watching.